Alright, welcome back. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Welcome back. <laughs> Sorry, I've, I've been having trouble talking lately. I don't know why, it's just like everything that comes out of my mouth. Maybe I'm just talking too quickly. Everything that comes out of my mouth is just messed up. But so I was searching through the chests, and I found something interesting. So uh, I shall take one of those, and continue on. And there's... Ah! Stunning Battle Sign Level 3! Yeah! Oopsies, I broke the wrong one. <laughs> no! Put him back! Okay. Let's, uh, dig out that. Put that down. And then come over here and just... Burp. Okay, I'll grab the battle sign in just a second. Fire Aspect 1, knock back to Sharpness 3. Where did I get this one from? Is this the... Wait, what? Is No, I've had this one for a while, haven't I? How did I... What? How in the... Huh? Okay. Well, whatever. I don't want that one. Yeah, so I guess this is just a... Vex's way of being silly. Which makes me wonder, because, um... <coughs> In, you know what, I want to go see where all this redstone goes down here. See if it actually does lead to a trap at some point or another. Oops, I didn't mean to break that. Okay, this one comes from that side. And comes down here. Loops up and around. Oh, and again, it just goes over there. Okay, so this side's trap-free. But how about this side? Because I don't trust it. Okay, this side's trap free too. And last one. I just feel like it has to be trapped somewhere. I don't know why. It's just one of those feelings that I get. You guys know what I'm talking about. I go off chasing things all the time for it, <laughs> over these feelings that I have for you. Oh, that's creepy. All right, no traps. Oh well. It's better to be safe than sorry anyway, because I figured this could have some cool stuff in it that I didn't know about. These signs over here. I mean, signs. These chests over here. And uh, I didn't know if one of those pressure plates would set off some TNT and blow the whole place to high heavens. So, uh, I wanted to be very careful about, you know, touching anything <laughs> that could set off anything. I realized halfway through, um, that I was opening all those chests, which could set up a, f could set off a block update detector, which could mean that I'd lose the, um, anything in the chest. You know what I mean? Like, if I walk in and open up the first chest and it's hooked, and it's got, like, some floating sand next to it, or, um... Or a block update detector, um, it could destroy everything <laughs> and kill me in the process. And I didn't want that to happen. And now that I think about it, I do believe Dungeon 14 is the nether one. But actually, I don't think we're going to be able to survive that right now. Because um, we're at 12 and 13, right? Oh, well, we can try. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these boots on them. I'm going to climb above the spawner or the the dungeon room in the nether, drop down into it, and quickly get inside so I can't get blown to pieces, and then dig my way out the bottom. Um, oh, this is dungeon 16. Never mind. We're good. See ya. Get me out of here. <laughs> I want to do them in order. Like, I've already told you guys that. Um, but I don't want to be the guy who does things backwards. I mean, not that it really matters at all. And uh, the instructions tell you to play how you want. Just try to survive in any way possible. Which is, I mean, yeah, that's... I guess doing it backwards counts as doing it the way you want to. 
I don't know. I just don't want to do it backwards. So there. Those are backwards, actually. Brown and blue. All right. So this puts us up to 13 bulls. That's a lot. We've gotten pretty far. Um, this is a normal map, and I don't seem to be having too much trouble with it now. Like, at, at the very beginning, I had some trouble with it. But now it's like, eh. I mean, then again, I do have a bunch of diamond tools and stuff. And if I didn't have those, I would definitely have a lot more trouble with this. Get me out of here. <laughs> Jump in the lava! Nope. They lost me. Um... But yeah, like, if I didn't have all this diamond stuff, then I'd probably be having a lot more trouble. <laughs> um, so I suppose I have Vex to thank for me living so long. Put that down there. I want to put... I want both of these to be on my inventory, but all of my inventory spaces are taken up, so I have to find places for it, which means I have to, like, take stuff off of my inventory, which I don't like. I don't like it at all. Okay, Dungeon 14. Dungeon 14. Let's see. Where would that be? We've been to... Dungeons... Just get back on the track there. You don't have to go far, just get on the track. I'll stop you if you hit me. Um... We've been to Dungeon... Oh, Dungeon 14. Right, it's it's down the other track that goes down and that way. You know what I'm talking about? With all the lava and the big dark cave and stuff. Blue wool. Brown wool. Yay! It's starting to look pretty. Uh, oh, while I was in the nether, I should have grabbed some of that gold. Ugh. Sometimes I hate myself. <laughs> That's awful. Um, but I don't want to waste this diamond sword um, in the nether, like trying to kill gas or something. So what I'm going to do is... It, this is just more annoying than it... I'll leave it. Just because it is a kind of cool door, I don't want to... I don't know. I'm just weird like that. I just decide not to destroy things because, you know, because of a whim. So, why did I only take eight? I'm going to make some new armor. Because... My armor is kind of falling apart, if you hadn't noticed. Despite the fact that it's diamond, it only lasted me like two dungeons. Uh, cool. I'll have in just like exactly enough for two more sets of armor. I'm going to take these off, but I will keep them with me, so that when these ones get damaged, I can just repair them with these ones. I mean, the helmet won't get repaired, but... Oh well. It'll just have to do... Okay, I need more coal, actually, and some more wood, if possible, just in case. You never know when you need wood to make, like, a workbench or a, um, a chest or something if something's going wrong and, you know. Oh, well, that's good for that, but I, where did my coal go? There it is. That's not enough. Take a stack. Alrighty. Now, uh, oh, is this part one of this episode? Really, I need to stop doing... Like, I need to get fraps so I can record full-length whatever. Because this is ridiculous. I'm constantly asking myself, you know what, I should do that soon. Um, maybe what... Oh, no. <laughs> the lever. Boop. Um, I dug through there at one point. Were you guys here for me with here with me on that? Oh no, it was when I was planting some stuff. Um, planting some trees and harvesting them between an, some episodes. I heard some fire going. Um, and it was, I think it was just from that one room that we found one time. With the lava in it and the chest and stuff. That was on this path. Because we've come down here before. And oh dear god, I thought I almost just fell in the lava. Something's behind me. I, I saw it. I think. I don't know. I really have no idea. There's a creeper dying in lava though, so that's cool. I like how I can just, like, walk into here now, because I already came in and lit it up, so this whole dangerous area is just like, psh, I ain't scared. I ain't scared. You don't scare me. Ah, lava. Lava scares me. <laughs> a 
I'm only afraid of inanimate objects. Keep that in mind. But yeah. So this will be dungeon 14. Did we ever actually look in here? Dance uh, ah, dance above the flame. I'm scared. Why didn't that the door should have opened? Oh dear god. I feel like I've seen this before. Why have I seen this before? Who was playing Sea of Flame before that I saw do this? Did I watch somebody play Sea of Flame? Oh, I don't know, but I have to pause the recording. So, uh, I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so I think I remember seeing somebody do this before. <laughs> I could be wrong. But, uh, like, I don't know who it would have been. I've definitely seen this before. <laughs> And I don't know why. This is really kind of confusing. Because I've avoided watching anybody play Sea of Flames since I decided I was going to do it myself. Um, and that was... Well, I think I avoided watching anybody play it at all because I thought I might come back to it at some point. I'm not really sure what I was thinking. But um, I, I know I've seen this area before. And I saw somebody have a lot of trouble with it. But I can't remember who. So. I know there's a gas spawner over there, though. That's for sure. I need to get over there. So I suppose I should have... Just gone over here. Oh, God. I'm holding on the shift key as hard as I can, but I feel like my finger's going to slip off at any moment. This is scary. <laughs> I don't like lava. It's not fair. You can't fight it. But anyway, um. But yeah, I know I've seen somebody doing this before. Which is weirding me out now because I don't have any idea who. But I, I don't remember much at all aside from the fact that there's a gas spawner over there. <laughs> like, was it B double? Did I dream it? I don't. I don't know. Because. No, B double O didn't do he just does his things with good. So I don't think it was him. It's gonna use up a lot of cobblestone here. But gas can't blow up cobblestone. So if a gas spawns, it won't be able to uh destroy my platform here. Which is really good. But I am going to run out. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> Um, okay. Yeah, I don't have nearly enough blocks for this. Okay, I'm going to pause the recording and go back home and grab a bunch more blocks. So I'll see you in just a second. Alright, welcome back. Um, there's something on my space park. Yeah, there we go. Um, <clears throat> I ended up going in there because... I, I was wondering why those pressure plates didn't work. And they should have worked just fine. I don't see why they didn't. Um, it was just because I didn't actually step on them or something. I don't know. But uh, anyway, I, I went back and uh, did something. I don't remember what, though. <laughs> right, got cobblestone. And uh, I also brought a chest for me to put stuff in. But then I realized that, I mean, I might need the stuff on the other side of this. Where the, like, past the gas spawner. I just heard a zombie falling into lava, though. So that's cool. I shouldn't look up. I should look directly forward. Because I don't want to fall off. I'm going to follow the wall, or hug the wall, all the way across here. Okay. Let's get up. One, two... Three, stick a torch down. Four, and then just hurry up and get over here, preferably before one spawns. Nope, that didn't work. Oh god. OK, 
Okay, it's dead. And the spawner's gone. Okay. So, that's one problem taken care of. Let's grab another stack of cobblestone. This is all the cobblestone I have, so... Is there another gas spawner? I mean, I think it was honestly a pretty big mistake of him to, uh... You, you know what? Just in case. Because there could very well be gas spawners in the walls. And, uh, I wouldn't be able to see them or break them because they'd be behind bedrock. So I'm just going to be on the safe side and make this path two blocks wide. Just so no matter what happens, I should be safe. Because um, this should give me enough space that I can get hit with a fireball and not get knocked straight off. But then again, what do I know? So, <laughs> here's to hoping. Um, are there any spawners around there? There's most likely spawners in those bedrock pillars above and below the um, the wall, as far as I'm concerned. There, I'm going to say there's like a 98% chance that there's some kind of spawners in there, at the very least. Okay, let's, let's grab more cobble. Nope, not what I wanted. There we go. Now, don't let go of shift. I'm too close can't, er, I'm too close to mess up. <laughs> and I'm too far away to do this. Well, that's what I was trying to do. And I don't like how I'm lagging here while I'm hanging over an edge of lava. Green wool. Now get out. <laughs> I don't like this area. It's rather terrifying. I will grab that chest that I brought down, though, and um, bring it back up a little bit, up to the top of that. I hear a spider. There he is. Oh, he's dead. I don't need any problems right now. Because I need to get away from this lava. <sighs> okay. Um, and since this is... Oh dear god. What was that? I just heard a series of explosions. very large series of explosions. What just happened? I don't like the sounds of that. At all. At all. At all, at all, at all. Did I mention I didn't like the sounds of that? At all? <laughs> I don't know what that was, but there were like at least six explosions. Wool, I mean, chests don't get burned with fire, so it's f safe around the lava. They can get blown up, though, so you don't want to do that. Oh, jeez, creeper. And there's no way it was creepers blowing up, because there was way too many of them. Ow. I don't appreciate that, you stupid skeleton. I really hope this isn't like that other area where, uh, there's, a. Uh, oh, it was over here. What was there? Well, whatever was there, it's not there anymore. <laughs> That's for sure. I'm going to assume it wasn't a wool. Or else, uh, that, that would just kind of really suck because I'd have no way of getting more wool. Oh, I didn't look at you. I didn't look at you. Oh, hi, skeleton. I mean, creeper. I meant creeper. I said skeleton. Whatever. <laughs> anyway, I don't want this. I don't want you either. Go home. Ow. Where? 
Where did you come from? I just got shot out of nowhere. Get. Okay. Now I need to find the, um... Dungeon. <laughs> I feel like killing creepers with fire should make them explode. Oops, I didn't mean to knock that off. But you know, because it's like they're they're made of gunpowder, aren't they? They drop gunpowder when they die. I heard a creeper hiss, and I got scared, but it was just the one in front of me. Okay. Do you guys see a dungeon down here anywhere? No. Oh, it must be that way. It's definitely that way. Okay, well I have to pause the recording here again, and I think this is the second one, so we should be good to see you in a couple seconds. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now. We should be okay for taking this dun- What? No, mm-mm. I don't like skeletons. <laughs> They're not cool people. Alright, let's just walk this way. I don't like the lava, so I'm going to avoid it. At all costs. If at all possible. I suppose that's what at all costs mean, doesn't it? Means, isn't it? The battle for the molten depths. Oh dear god. Why does that sound so terrifying? And I am out of torches. Whoa, the game actually like lagged a bit there. When I was trying to make the torches, it, it held off for a couple seconds. Yep, nope. Not anymore. I don't trust them. I don't trust those either. I don't trust anything here. Okay, let's see what happens if I... Huh. Ooh. It's the door workings here. Okay, the other side of this chest is there, and I can see underneath it, and that's not sand, so we're good. Nothing in it. Okay, right here. It's not sand anywhere next to it. We're good. Torches, leather. Okay, that's good to know. We got a bunch of crap there. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, I don't want that. I don't want that. Can I repair my armory? Uh, no, I still don't have that much damage on it yet. I will put these... No, no, I won't. Because I'm going to need them soon. <laughs> I need everything in my inventory right now. And I don't trust these. Okay, let's see. It's the next block over. Okay. Okay, we're good. These are perfectly fine to use. Um, because you could make it so that these furnaces act like a trap. Like, if there were sand underneath them or something that was floating, um, you could put up a block update detector thing to it and make it murder you. <laughs> or make it murder the person who used it, I should say. Okay, so there's a bunch of light in here. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I mean, this is kind of awesome, but also kind of like, how am I supposed to get past this? Okay, there's creepers blowing up over there. Okay, well first, I'll come over here and light up some of this area. And, uh... Oh yeah, they're just entrenching themselves here. <laughs> Creepers I'm not so worried about. It's the skeletons, really, that uh, I need to be worried about. There's TNT over there. If I could just blow it up. Okay, you die. Take down that spawner, run over here, you die, and damn it. Uh, 
Oh god. This is why this is bad. Okay, skeleton spawner's dead. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is rough. I don't have a flint steel to light that, uh... Oh, oh, oh no, oh jeez. Oh god. Okay. I need to get out of here. <laughs> They're killing their own friends over there. Okay. So. Let's just... we The fun way. <laughs> That's entertaining. One of those zombies seems a little confused. Um, I can pick them off better like this. Because I can crit the... Um, I don't think the dispensers get crits. But hold on, let's turn particles up. All. Yeah, now see, they, it, they go pretty far, but they aren't... Oh, no, they don't. They go, like... I don't know. They definitely don't go all the way. So those spawners are off right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to kill all of these things and then kill all of the ones that are behind the spawner over there. And once that's done... Uh, I'm not behind the spawner. Um... All of the things that are back there, I'm going to kill them all, and then just charge in and try to... I'd love to blow up that TNT, but I don't know how I'd go about doing that, because you can't just punch it anymore, you know? You have to go in and... Um, is that more TNT up there? You have to actually go in and... No, stop spawning. Okay, now they're just spawning because they're far away, not because there's spawners there. Because um, they're just in the spawning distance. Um, okay, got that one. And more are spawning faster than I can shoot them down. Mostly because they're really far away. And I'll just take that. Okay, and then let's hop up here. Run in. Put torches down everywhere. Jeez. Okay, these arrows from the dispensers are not helping me here. Oh, I managed to unequip my sword somehow. Okay. Oh, I should have been using this. <laughs> That's what I should have been using. Nope, get back. Oh, well, they blew up. It blew up. They. I don't know why I said they. Oh good, there's a bedrock floor. <laughs> Stop hitting me! I don't appreciate it. Yeah, see, I'm just like wasting my sword here. Okay. Now that that's taken care of, and now that we're missing most of this area here, and oh my god, look at those arrows. Okay. Okay, hold on. Gotta see how far I am. Okay. Uh, the last recording finished. And uh, was like, hey. Let's play this. No, get back! They keep hitting me and making it so that I can't destroy stuff. Because, like, they just knock me back and I... or they get in the way, even. Okay. I just have to get down these spawners. Where did that spider come from? Okay, the spiders are like spawning on top of me here. Okay. Oh, they're probably spawning up above there. And just dropping down. Oh dear god, don't fall into that hole. Okay. Because I accidentally dug a two-block-deep hole. And where are they spawning from? 
Like, I've still got things spawning down here. Oh, probably from these spawners. Duh. I just realized that they probably, or most definitely, reach out past this area here. How do I set off that TNT? Okay, I just need to get rid of those <laughs> stupid things. Okay. How did that skeleton get down here? Oh god, I'm in a hole again. Again. Uh, I'm in a hole now. Where? Where? Oh, not what I wanted to do. Here we go. Oh jeez, I need to eat. Oh boy, this is rough. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh good. And, nope. Mm -mm. Get back. Okay. Repair the legs too. Just as soon as possible. I wanted to repair them so that they, um, first of all, I'd get the space in my inventory cleared out. And, um, second of all, because that way I, I repair them for more. Okay, so there's spawners there. What, I can't reach that one? Here we go. Um, uh, what, what's hitting me? What's it? Stupid spiders. Okay. Um, I need to drop that grab this out, and... How did he get out? Oh, there's holes in the glass. That's how he got out. What? Where? Where did you come from? Okay, I don't even know what hit me there. Oh, I think it was probably this thing. Or this guy. Jerkwad. Die! Again, if I had... Oh, no. If I had any way to detonate this TNT, but I don't... Oh, okay, and we're over, so hold on. I'm going to pause the video again, and I don't think this is the end of the episode, but if it is, I'll see you next time. If not, I'll see you in just a second.